senior punter James Evans. We'll start with Zach and then go to Matt. I guess we've asked some of the guys you've played with about being sort of the, one of the senior voices in that special teams room in the past, and you've talked about you know, whether it's Sean or you know, Chuck or anybody just looking up to, to some of the older guys. Now you're one of those guys. What's different for you maybe trying to fill that leadership role in the same way that you saw those guys do it in yeah. recent times? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just being more vocal. Um, like I've always tried to do the right thing and lead by example and and like how I conduct myself as far as my preparation and what I do at practice and trying to stay busy. Um, but just being more vocal and being supportive of the younger guys and showing them the way, like the right way to do things. So, yeah. We'll go Matt in the second row on your right and then Mike. Hey James, I remember when you first got here and the coach was talking about you were so new to the culture ball that you would take your helmet off. Yeah. You were still in the field, stuff like that. Just talk about how much growth you've made from that first year to now and just how much, I guess, slower the game is for you and how much more you you are about yeah, um, I think definitely. I think my first year, everything kind of was just so new to me. Um, and with having good guys around me, good coaches around me, and just experience in games and practice, uh, I think I just growed mentally. I don't think there's like a tremendous difference as far as my physical ability from year one to year four. But I think mentally, as far as my preparation, my routine, um, and the kind of confidence that I bring to every game, it's definitely uh, evolved positively, so, yeah. So you're right with Mike and then Owen. Yeah, what's the transition like when to the new staff? Have they done, you know, done anything differently with special teams or your approach? And kind of how has that transition yeah. been? Yeah, um, it's been really good. Uh, schematically, for me, uh, slight change, but more or less the kick types are the same. So it hasn't been uh, too, I guess, great of a, a difference. Um, but yeah, I've really liked uh, working with Coach Kane so far. Um, in December, I guess, when he was appointed to special teams coordinator, I reached out to a few of his like older, I guess, specialists he had in the past, and they all spoke very fondly of him. And so, yeah, it's been a great experience so far. You did that research on your own? Yeah, yeah, I reached out to some people. And what did you learn from? Um, I went, like one, they, did, they all spoke very highly of him as a person, like he was a genuinely good guy. Um, as far as his coaching style, I kind of like that he respects my technique and the coaching that I've had. And he'll, I mean, he'll ask me, like, if something was to go wrong, and opponent will ask me what went wrong, but he won't, like, try to overcorrect things, you know? So he'll be very, uh, I guess, open to communication and uh, willing to listen. So that's been really good. So Owen in the front, and then Todd. Yeah, if I remember correctly, last year he told us kind of during the spring, fall, um, area you're staying after practice, getting extra reps in with potential returners. Um, yeah. You're still getting that extra work in. Yeah. Anyone else, anyone particularly helping yeah. you out? Yeah. Um, I guess over the summer we have a group chat with the returners. I'll text them when we're going out and punting. Um, so Miles, Keyshawn, Solomon, they've all been getting a lot of reps. They're all looking comfortable back there. Um, so yeah, I think those three right now are the guys they're primarily working with, and I think all three of those guys have gotten game experience in the past, and they're confident and comfortable back there. So, yeah. Come on your left to Todd and then Jack. Uh, tell me about the relationship with your long snapper, Mark and Jackson at this point. How has that gone through that? That's been good. Um, so Jackson was here last season. Mark got here in January. Uh, so we've been lucky to, I guess, have a full off season working with them. Like, I mean, field goal, snap, hold, kick, uh, punt, snap, kick. So. Yeah, it's been really good. They're both good dudes. They both work really hard, and they both care a lot. So it's made my life easier. So Jack and Seth? Yeah, I guess just going into your final season, is there anything you're sort of challenging yourself to do or you want to specifically improve on? Yeah. Um, I guess the biggest thing last year was probably my pin deep punting, um, which became a little difficult. I got hurt, oh, like I had injury in the third week of the season. So I like didn't really have like true like guys in my range. I guess it would be like – knowing like your distances with your golf clubs, like my pitching, which goes 130 yards, whatever. So knowing that, um, so being pretty locked in on that and being able to pin teams deep inside like the five, the 10, that's probably the main thing. And then in the open field, probably directionally, especially right, uh, like I have a tendency to drop the ball inside, kicking right. So working on putting it, dropping it on my hip, just outside my hip and hitting a clean ball that turns over left to right. Seth and Pete. Yeah, I mean, you talked about just how much more comfortable you got through the years, you know, having you know, never really played football before yeah. coming here. I mean, if you if somebody told you coming into, you know, your career at IU that, you know, after not really 
playing much that you yeah. be this guy on like watch lists. I mean, just you know, what would you have thought back then, and then, you know, how did you get to this point? Yeah. Oh, it's been a pretty surreal journey. Um, I'd say just realizing how much work it would take to kind of get here. Um, and like, I guess the biggest thing for me is probably just setting goals and having measurable things that I want to attain and then working and setting a plan and a, a routine to a achieve them. Um, so yeah, I guess early on with, uh, you know, how new everything was, you know, you're just trying to like get by almost, but you know, as I kind of grew, uh, physically and mentally and became more comfortable and confident, you know, just keep pushing through. So Pete, second on your left. Yeah, the, the fact that you're on the great guy list, um, how special is that? And again, that kind of reflects on, on your development and growth. And yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. I like, it's a preseason watch list though. So like, it doesn't really mean anything. It'd be nice to win it, um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's nice to be, anytime you get any kind of recognition and um, you know, you're listed among like the top guys in college football, it's pretty cool. But you know, now I guess I got to go out there and prove that I'm worthy of it. So yeah. We're going to Matt, second row on your right. A lot of guys from you came from pro kick, obviously. Great college success and a number of them have gone on to the next level. I'm assuming that's something you're thinking about. And do you ever do you have a relationship with any of those guys up at that level about what it's like and what you have to do yeah. to, to get up there? Um, so I trained with uh, Tory Taylor. He played football at Iowa, just got drafted. Um, so I haven't really spoken to him. I know his life's probably, you know, full go right now in training camp. But uh, I was lucky enough to train with him. Um, you know, that is a goal of mine. Uh, obviously, this year means a lot. Um, being able to put good things on tape to kind of solidify a case to, to get there. But, um, you know, I've had, also had the opportunity to train with guys that play in the NFL in the past. And it's kind of nice to pick their brain and then also using that as kind of like a measuring stick for, like, where I need to get to if, you know, if I want to play at that level. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. All right. Thank Appreciate you, guys. You. Appreciate it.